Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Droid channel on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to do this good luck card uh, design and uh, oh, let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Well good luck's a kind of a happy occasion usually isn't it? So um, I think we need something quite jaunty. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to block out G-O-O-O-D and then starting right about there, L, U, C, K. And what I'm going to do is, is um, make these letters higher on the top than they are at the bottom. OK. Uh, yeah, wider at the top <laughs> than they are at the bottom. And I'm not going to worry about them being too kind of on the line and straight um, or anything like that. I want them to be a little bit jaunty in fact. So, kind of like that. And then we need a kind of equal thickness for the, um, for the thick sides of it. So good. And put these little, I'm gonna put these little serifs in there just to make it look a bit more jaunty. There goes the phone. Back here we go. Right. So this again, the the L wants to be thicker at the top than at the bottom. I put a little bit of a jaunty kind of serif. Um, and again, that wants to be thicker at the top than it is at the bottom. Um, And I'm going to do this letter C. I'm kind of making this up <laughs> as I go along, as I frequently do. I kind of have these rough ideas of what a font looks like in my head. And I think it's just kind of years of playing around with them that you can then kind of, you know, make it up as you go along, as it were. Uh, put a little bit of a kind of serif up at the top there as well. So, um, this is trying to make it look jaunty. And why, why am I doing this today? Why am I doing this today? Well, I had um, the Tilly asked me a little while ago to, to do um, a good luck video. I'm trying to get the right size pen. There we go. Um, and I just couldn't quite do it then. And then my godson, Ross, is starring in a school production of Jesus Christ Superstar and he is taking the lead role and so I thought I would do this for him to say good luck Ross I know he's gonna do it really well Born to sing that boy. <laughs> Born to perform. And I'm sure he's going to do a really good job. And this is to I wish him all the best. And now, see, I've done this kind of little cute little serif, this kind of bit there so having started now I've got to kind of carry on with the, that style and I'm trying to decide whether to have them on this side or not and I'm not going to I'm gonna have that just go straight up there so I'm gonna have all my serifs pointing to the left just to be different good uh, <laughs> This should come in much narrower there, shouldn't it? That's it. Like that. And then I'm going to put a little serif on there. And a little serif on there. And this needs to come thinner at the bottom there, like that. And then go all the way around with the C. And a little serif in there. 
I'm a good luck. And again, I will do not have the serve repeated on the right hand side. That down to about there, and then I should do the same here with the serif on that side. Oh, and I haven't really done that's just a normal K, I haven't done that. <laughs> Making it thinner on the bolted which is a bit naughty, but never mind. As I often say, I think if you're a typographic genius, you're going to be going, oh, oh. That's terrible! <laughs> he should redo it. Well, yeah, <laughs> maybe I should, but I'm assuming that most people watching these videos aren't typographic geniuses and they just want to kind of do a good luck card for a friend of theirs. And um, I just bring a little bit of kind of pattern in here. And so. I think you're allowed to make a few mistakes. And the thing about typography is, as long as it's all pretty much the same, I don't think most people really don't see or notice the difference. And they're just so thrilled that you've actually bothered to do them a card that uh, they're never ever going to see that there's anything strange with that K and that it should have been more narrow at the bottom. So don't wind yourself up about things like that and if you're doing pictures and paintings and drawings for people don't worry about them being absolutely perfect you do your best you do your absolute best in the time that you've got and they will be thrilled because anyone can go and buy a card from a shop anyone can do that but to take the time and to do a card um, for someone shows just that little bit more thought, I think. So I'm just going to put these little kind of wobble lines in here, which just kind of make it a bit more jaunty. And maybe in there, in there, around there. Like that, just kind of filling in those spaces and making it kind of move a bit. Okay, and what are we going to do now? I'm going to erase those pencil lines like that. Having made sure, of course, that the <laughs> pen is really dry. I'm using, I keep being asked what pens I use. I'm using Roting Tiki Graphic. This is a 0.3. And they dry really quickly. They're kind of like permanent, but um, permanent and waterproof. But they don't smell like other pens do which is really good so and i use them a lot I, I kind of all my work i use these pens now um i just really like them so um now i'm gonna as i just decided i'm gonna put some little kind of stars in there just for a bit of extra bit of extra kind of pizzazz probably putting too many in and I don't know why, I've just decided I'm going to put an outline. Oh. I'm not sure if it actually becomes an inline technically. I don't know, this is probably going to completely ruin it actually. We shall see. Okay, well now we're colouring it in. I'm putting in a very pale kind of green wash and then thinning it down towards the top and then dropping in stronger colour, which kind of bleeds in to the wet part of the paper, if that makes any kind of sense at all. Now drying it with a hairdryer and then doing a similar kind of thing at the top with blue. So it's very pale, wet blue and um, thinning it down with clear water and then dropping in more purer colour into the kind of the wet part of the paper which then spreads down. I hope that makes some kind of sense. <laughs> and yeah, dry it up again 
and then just brighten up those little stars with a bit more color. That color is a, um, a emerald green. And now a bit of shadow, which just kind of brings it to life a bit. Uh, just going around the edges like that. Good. Luck. <laughs> That, I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to stick it on a card and send it off to Ross and uh, hope he does a brilliant performance. And uh, if you enjoyed that, then keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube where I'll have lots more of these kind of things for you and lots and lots of different kinds of drawings and stuff coming up. Uh, so make sure that you're subscribed. And um, in the meantime, you keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.